going to speak to us to about optimizing your social media. Alex, come on stage. We're on stage. We are great there. Talk about social media. Let's take a little photo with all these beautiful people. Say yeah, Miami. Yeah, Miami. All right, thanks a lot. That's for my social. So let's talk about social. Let's talk about the journey. Really, social media is talking about your journey. And a lot of people were shy when it comes to social media, right? Like for a lot of people in the room, how many of you are really playing all out on social media? Raise your hand. And how many of you are like, I don't know what to post, I don't know if I should post that, and you're a little shy about what to put out there. Raise your hand. A lot of people, right? It's scary. And the people who are most vulnerable and authentic are the ones winning the game on social media right now. So I know that that's scary. And I had to take that plunge myself. So I come from a background of being in real estate, my mom is a realtor, so I'm 23 years in the business. And what I'm about to share with you is vulnerable and was scary for me to share. How many people in the room have been divorced? Should be like half the room, right? So yeah, I've been divorced. And that was a scary time and that was a super sad time for me. I remember crying in the closet going, what happened? Ten years of marriage, two kids, and now it's like disappearing. Now what am I going to do? What's the next stage in my life? And I'm sitting there, aimlessly scrolling through Facebook, right? Like, don't even know what's going to happen in my life. And I see this woman on my Facebook feed. This woman over here, a blonde woman. And I'm like, oh, beautiful woman. Friend request. I didn't even, I'm, not, I'm not even that type of guy. But if it's something said, click the button. So I click the button. She accepts. I send her a Facebook message. I'm like, I don't usually do this, but there's something about you, and I'm currently getting divorced, and I have two kids, and I don't know, something's calling me to just reach out to you and have coffee with you or dinner or something. She responded. She's like, I'm actually getting divorced too. She'd been married for 10 years, had a daughter. I've been married for 10 years, had two daughters. Next thing you know, we get together and have a date, and now we've been together for four years. Right? This is the love of my life. And here we are with a blended family with three kids together trying to make it work. You know, coming from two marriages. And it's tough. And it's scary. And like sharing all this on social media was scary for me too. But honestly, there's relationships that I have in this room today for pe with people that have been like, I don't know, I've just been following you on Facebook. And I'm following your journey. And I'm like, you're a real guy and they want to do business with me. And I know, it's just part of like me just being real on Facebook. So what I'm sharing with you is if you're shy and you're not like really ready to go out there, it's just about being real, right? Be authentic and real on social media and you will win 100% of the time, right? And you might inspire somebody along the way. So I also lost 40 pounds thanks to my girlfriend, because she's a nurse, right? So she figured things out and made a big difference. So here I am flexing. But I'm flexing because I'm also taking advantage of social media for my business. And what I'm offering to all of you is if you really want to stand out in the ocean of 60,000 agents, right? It's a little competitive out here, let's not lie. You gotta do some social media stuff. So I'm gonna talk about four easy profiles to work with, and a couple quick hacks. I will happily send all of these slides to any of you who want it. I'll give you an email address at the end, and you can take it and run with it. And the first thing I want to cover is YouTube. And why I'm going to cover YouTube is because barely anybody's using it. Right? I've Googled over 250,000 agents. YouTube is the one that is the least um, productive for you all. So I'm gonna jump into it because I think it's a huge opportunity for you to differentiate. So here's five simple things to do with YouTube. First of all, create your channel. Create your place on YouTube. Number two, put a beautiful banner image 
on top. That represents who you are, and I'll show you how to do it. Number three, record a welcome video. It's just a video on your phone. Hey, welcome to my YouTube channel. On this channel, I'm gonna talk about Miami real estate and these neighborhoods. If you want more information, here's my email. That's simple. It's just like a welcome video. You can use that for a lot of things. Number four, make your YouTube attractive. And guess what you're gonna use for that? How many people use Canva? Canva is free, and Canva has YouTube thumbnails. Free me. I'm gonna show you how easy that is. And lastly, ask your people to do something on your channel. Hey, subscribe to my newsletter. Hey, download this guidebook. Hey, give me your email so that you build your database. Make sense? I'm trying to make it simple and easy. This is my YouTube channel. I'm relaunching it right now. I got plenty of videos up there. Nice thumbnail images. This is a welcome video. I chose to use one of my most popular podcast episodes with Elena Cardone because that's popular, right? It's the first thing people are gonna see. You may choose to use your video. How do you make a YouTube thumbnail? You go to Canva. Simple, go to Canva, type in YouTube thumbnail, and all these beautiful thumbnails show up. You grab one of them. You upload your photo, you customize it, and you're done. So I took this most attractive thumbnail and I made it more attractive. Guess how? By putting my photo. <laughs> so most attractive thumbnails are gonna attract people to watch your videos. Most of you are doing property videos with no thumbnail. Nobody wants to click on it. Go look at Ryan Serhan's videos. Four million, oh, sorry, hundred million dollars for everything. I'm giving you a big hack here. Instead of going to Canva and doing a regular Instagram post or like a Facebook post, go to Canva and look at a YouTube thumbnail. They're way better. They're much more attractive and they're easy to change. YouTube, you gotta do a lot of stuff with it if you're gonna do it right. You gotta add timestamps, you gotta add calls to action, you gotta add hashtags. I have long videos about this, happy to share them with anybody. Let's move on to Facebook. Everybody knows Facebook, right? Here's the thing you don't know about Facebook, maybe. Facebook business, thing of the past. Facebook personal is where it's at. It's all about relationships. Yep. So you gotta upload a new photo. You gotta upload a new banner. You gotta block time in your calendar to do your Facebook stuff. That's why you're not doing it. So this is my cover image. I block it in my calendar. I use attractive imagery, and I use direct messages to get things like a girlfriend, connections with top CEOs, with clients, right? Plenty of videos. LinkedIn, three easy things. Go update it. Most of you have not updated your LinkedIn in forever ago. I know because I Google you. Upload your connections. Build relationships. That's a cover photo. That's how you build relationships. You can upload your entire spreadsheet of people. You can connect your email to your LinkedIn and it'll find all your people. Last one, Instagram. Three things, update your photo and bio. Notice the theme here. Many of you have not updated your photos and bios in a long time. Post reels and post stories. That gets you the most exposure and go look for your people on Instagram. You're not blocking it in your calendar, okay? Boom, boom, boom. Master Instagram. These guidebooks, I've written these guidebooks with my team. I'll provide them all for free to all of you. 242 pages of guidebooks, every single profile, what you need to do, how you need to do it step by step. My name's Alex Pontalenti. I'm the CEO of Real Grader. We have a booth outside. We measure, manage, and maximize your digital presence. We measure it kind of like credit card gives you a credit score. We give you your digital score. We manage it for you. We maximize it so you can be an influencer. And if you scan this QR code, we'll do a free audit of your digital presence and just fill in your information and schedule with us. That's free. And if you email hello at realgrader.com and put the word free, 
I'll email you the slides, I'll email you the videos and the guidebooks, all in one email to make it super easy. Is that valuable for you? Awesome. Thank you so much for your